It's just the first of what will likely be many visits to Surrey between now and Election Day, but already NDP leader John Horgan is playing defense. I want to talk a little bit today about Mr. Wilkinson's visit to Surrey yesterday. He had some very unkind things to say about my team assembled here. Those unkind things Andrew Wilkinson said sounded like this. Sadly, the NDP MLAs and ministers have delivered next to nothing here in Surrey, and people are fully aware of that, and we will fix that. The NDP won six of Surrey's nine seats in 2017. Without that support south of the Fraser, the New Democrats wouldn't have formed government. I mean, the Liberals had really lost the government last time because of Surrey and North Delta. And this is, uh, this is the most important region. So, hoping for a better showing in 2020, Wilkinson is attacking the NDP's track record in Surrey. People in Surrey are saying they're tired of being neglected and not getting the infrastructure they need. We'll be addressing that in the days to come, and it's going to be exciting. Surrey has needed a new hospital for years. The NDP promises to build one, but Wilkinson says it's taking too long. Then there's the issue of portables. Horgan promised in 2017 to eliminate them from Surrey schools, but three years later, there are still hundreds. I made that commitment with my colleagues here uh, before the last election, uh, well before the last election, and there was an expectation that the former government would be building schools to meet the demand. In the last three years of the Liberal mandate, uh, before we formed government, there was only one school built in Surrey. A crowded hospital and crowded classrooms. They're both big problems in BC's second biggest city. The leader who convinces voters he's best suited to fix them could very well be the next premier. Jesse Johnston, CBC News, Surrey.